Welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little different again. This is the hurricane season and we've got uh, a hurricane coming up the coast. We don't know where it's going to go so I thought it'd be a good idea in case we lost power to check my portable generator out the barn. And I have that wired, you know, there's a there's an underground lead that goes right directly to the house here so it's nice I can run it out in the barn, lock the barn up and everything and I don't have to worry about fumes. So anyway, I turned the ignition switch and nothing happened. So the very first thing I did naturally was check the battery and the battery was dead and it wouldn't take a charge so I went down to Tractor Supply Store in $39.95. I got myself a nice 300 coal cranking amp battery. That'll, that'll keep things going for a long time. But when I connected that, nothing happened again. So now there's two, there's two alternatives. In some systems, you know, you can easily get at all the wiring, and so you can check and make sure you have continuity between your ignition switch and the solenoid on your starter. But in a, you know, a lot of generators, you know, they, they have a, a plastic box or uh, there's, a, there's a control panel housing, and it's, you know, it's attached, in my system, it's attached with 12 screws. So rather than undoing all 12 screws and taking it out and checking to see there's a, there's a 10 amp fusible link in there, but rather than going through all that, it's very, very simple to check your starter out. But I said, gee, this is probably a good thing for other people to know. Checking a starter out shouldn't be a difficult thing to do if you know exactly what it is that a, a person, you know, down at the garage will do to check a starter motor. So, let's take a look at this one. I pulled it off the I pulled it off the generator so you can get a good look at it in good light. The starter has got three principal working components. You've got the solenoid, you've got the Bendix drive, and inside the Bendix, Bendix drive you've got a pinion gear. See if I can pull that pinion gear out so you can see it. Um, See it right there? That's it's a spring-loaded, and it re, it retracts. Normally, it's retracted when uh, it's not being started, and when you turn the when you turn the ignition switch, that pinion gear pops out, and it turns immediately, and it engages the flywheel uh, on your on your engine and spins it over. Now, and naturally, this is your this is your starter motor. This whole chassis now is, because it's connected as metal and it's connected to the uh, engine, this whole chassis is negative ground and you've got a direct current system in a, in a vehicle in most engines so with that direct current system uh, there's no, there's no wired, wired connection to this uh, chassis. It's, it's already done by simply bolting it on. But your solenoid now is the uh, that's the puppy that closes the circuit, mechanically closes the circuit between uh, your, your hot and your uh, negative poles on your motor and drives the motor. So how, is, how a solenoid works is very, very simple. You see right here the spade plug. This spade plug goes to your, your ignition switch. And this is also the hot lead direct to the battery. This is this is a this is the other side of it's not connected to this hot lead this is the other side of the hot lead that goes directly into the uh, motor that's wired into the motor this is called this is called your strap right here and that 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 braided strap connects the solenoid to the motor and uh, energizes it, powers it when you turn your ignition switch. Now the way a solenoid works is pretty simple. This spade plug here, when it's connected, when it's jumped to this lead, when you have, when you have a closed circuit with your, with your ignition switch, when you turn your ignition key, you, you're basically you're jumping these two poles and you're touching them together. Just think about touching those two poles together, jumping them together. When you do that, all that you're doing, there's not a lot of major current running through. It doesn't have to. That's why this is a very small, that's why this is a fairly small wire. It might be just 14 gauge wire or maybe even, maybe even uh, smaller. But that right there is just simply enough to power this 
coil and there's a there's a coil winding here copper coil winding and that is your electromagnetic field that electromagnetic field energizes a spring-loaded plunger that has a, a disc on it a copper disc and that spring-loaded plunger goes in this direction right here and when it pops out and it strikes when it strikes these two poles these two poles right here these are the two major ones when it strikes those two poles it it jumps those two so right this one here is only to energize the electromagnetic coil when the disc connects to these two poles and jumps those then you have a closed circuit a current running directly from your battery to the motor so basically the the solenoid connects the battery from your car or your tractor or whatever it is your generator it connects your hot lead from your battery to the motor that's all this that's all the solenoids function is so you want to see how it works we'll take it over to the bench and we'll show you how to test it out okay so we've got it all connected I've got the battery hooked up the negative is connected to the chassis of the motor the positive is connected just as it would be from your uh, positive battery terminal and the goal of the whole project is to make sure that your solenoid is making electrical contact between this pole and this pole via a mechanical disc that uh, is actuated by electromagnetic field and that electromagnetic field is energized by your ignition switch so by jumping this to this with a jumper wire it should start this motor up let's give it a try so we're just pretending now we're we're turning the ignition switch and so we've got a functioning starter the solenoids connecting properly and it's turning that motor over let's take a look at that pinion gear and see how that's operating so there you go I hope maybe I saved somebody a little bit of time and aggravation and maybe some money too you know shop time costs a lot of money and uh, aggravation and downtime so it's a very simple thing to check your starter out as I showed you just simply jump the positive lead from your battery to the ignition side spade lug on that uh, solenoid and if things don't turn over the, then you know that you have uh, if you don't have current flowing to the uh, spade lug then it means that you have perhaps a fusible link that blew on your generator or maybe some other equipment that you have or maybe your ignition switch is, is gone wrong but this is how you check out your starter so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and god bless